For today's homily, I require a volunteer. And I think the Lord's going to tell me who's going to volunteer. Dude, come on up here. Trust me, you won't regret it. Maybe. Maybe you will, I don't know. How are you today, sir? Why don't you tell our studio audience your name? Okay. Glad to have you here. Happy Thanksgiving. There you go. Something different. 
and it will spread. And we don't need to worry about the rest of the world. All we need to worry about is our own little world, the people right around us. And if we can have an influence on them, they in turn have influence on those around them, and so on, and so on, and so on. What a difference we could make. How different the world could become. Today we celebrate the, this secular feast of Thanksgiving. We focus, of course, our attention on giving thanks to all that God has done for us. But perhaps that's the easiest part. The real challenge is to show that thankfulness to one another. The real challenge is to learn again to be civil in our relations. And I don't think most of us do it out of any malice. We've just so absorbed the ethos of the world around us that we don't appreciate anymore. We become like the nine who were healed but couldn't be bothered to come back to Jesus, who went on their merry way, resuming their lives with nearly a thought of saying, thank you. No, we mustn't be like that. We, who gather today to give thanksgiving with the greatest gift of all, Jesus poured out for our salvation. We must be like the one foreigner, the Samaritan, who did come back and give thanks. One out of ten. Ten percent. But he made a difference. His life was changed. And I'm sure he paid that for that spirit of gratitude. On this day, when we give thanks, let us realize that that's something we need to do, not just one day out of 365, but something that we need to embody day in, day out. There was a book I read years ago, ago titled something to the effect that gratefulness is the heart of prayer. If we are unwilling have thankful hearts if we are not filled with gratitude. Then how can we truly approach God? How can we live in civility with one another? How can we turn the tide in a world that seems to devolve year in, year out, further and further into the pit? But rather than reflect on that and weigh ourselves down. If we instead simply become grateful, show gratitude, use simple courtesy, remember the pleases, the thank yous, the your welcomes, the very little things, how much effort does that really take? really could change the world around us. We could turn the tide. We could make this world a kind of gentler place. A place that more truly reflects the kingdom that our Lord 